Hello everyone, our topic today is all about loss of indices. What are indices? Indices are used as the shorthand way of writing multiplications of the same item several times. Powers, indices, and exponents are all descriptions of exact same thing. If we have 7 to the 4th, it is read as 7 to the 4th power or 7 to the 4th or 7 to the power of 4. So this is base and this is the index power or exponent. 7 to the 4th is equal to 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. So it means that 7 is multiplied four times by itself, while well, five to the third is equal to five times five times five. It means that five is multiplied three times by itself. And then negative two squared is equal to negative two times negative two. So the power of two means that negative two is multiplied by itself twice. So if we have 2 over 3 to the 5th, it means that 2 over 3 will be multiplied by itself 5 times. And if we have a plus b to the 3rd, it means that a plus b will be multiplied 3 times by itself. So the power indicates how many times the number is to be multiplied by itself. So let us have unit 1, loss of indices, and this topic can be found in pages 3 to 6. So let us have the product law. It states that when multiplying powers with the same base, add the exponents. So if we have a to the m times a to the n, we copy the same base and add the exponents. So we have a to the m plus n. Now let us have some examples. 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 3rd, we copy the same base and that add the exponent 5 plus 3. So 2 to the 8th is the answer. Now let us have another one. So negative 6 to the 2nd times negative 6 to the 8th, we copy the same base, negative 6, and then we add the exponents, so we have negative 6 to the 10th. Now let us have another one. So the quotient law. It states that when dividing powers with the same basis, subtract the exponents. So if we have a to the m over a to the n, we are going to copy the same base a, and then we are going to subtract m and n. So we have a to the m minus n. Examples for this one, we have 7 to the 15th over 7 to the 9th. So we are going to copy 7, then we are going to subtract 7 minus 9, and then we have the final answer, 7 to the 6th. Now let us have another one. So 2 to the 56th over 2 to the 15th. So we are going to copy 2, then we have 2 to the 56 minus 15, and 56 minus 15 is equal to 41. So we have 2 to the 41st. Now let us solve the power law. The power law states that to raise a power to another, multiply the exponents. So if we have a to the m raised to n, we are going to have a raised to m times n. Examples for this one, we have 5 to the 3rd raised to 4th. So we have 5 raised to 3 times 4, which is equal to 5 raised to 12. Now let us have another one. So negative 9 raised to 2 
raised to 7. So in here, we are going to copy negative 9, then to the 2 times 7, so negative 9 raised to 14 is the answer. Or negative 9 to the 14th. Now let us have another one. So the zero exponent. It states that any number or algebraic expression except zero raised to zero is equal to one. So if we have a raised to zero or a to the zero power, it is equal to one. Now let us have some examples. So 23 to the zero power is equal to one. Then if we have the quantity 6x plus y raised to 0 plus 5 raised to 0, it would be equal to 1 plus 1 because any number raised to 0 is equal to 0. So we have 2. Now let us solve the other laws of indices. Raising a product to a power. For any real numbers a and b, for any whole number n, a b raised to n is equal to a to the n, b to the n. So you just need to distribute n inside the parentheses. Where a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0. So let us have example number one. So two times three raised to the third power. So in here, we are going to multiply it three times by itself. Then we are going to combine like terms. Then the final answer would be two to the third times three to the third. Now let us have example number two. So supposing we have 0 0.7 times 5 raised to the fourth, so we are going to multiply 0 0.7 times 5 four times by itself. Then we are going to combine like terms or like numbers. Then we are going to simplify it as 0 0.7 to the fourth times 5 to the fourth. Now let us have another one. So example number three, in here, we are going to write in the exponential basis form with a base of prime number. And what is a prime number? Prime number are numbers which own, the only factors are one and itself. So if we have 35 to the eight, so we have the factors of 35, which are 35 and one, as well as seven and five. So in here, since we need to have a base of prime number, we are going to use 7 and 5. So 35 to the 8 is equal to 7 times 5 to the 8. Then we are going to apply the law. So we have 7 to the 8 times 5 to the 8. Now let us have another law. So raising a quotient to a power. So for any real numbers a and b, for any whole number n, so a over b raised to n is equal to a to the n over b to the n. So we just need to distribute n inside the parentheses, where b is not equal to 0 because when b is equal to 0, it will be undefined. Now let us have example number one. So seven over nine raised to the second power. It is equal to seven over nine times seven over nine. So in here, multiplying the numerators and the denominators and simplifying further, we get seven squared over nine squared. So if we have negative 1 over 3 to the ninth power, so it will be equal to negative 1 to the ninth over 
3 to the 9th. The negative power. So let us try to derive where the negative power came from. So a to the 0 over a to the n is equal to applying the quotient law, we have a to the 0 minus n. And a or 0 minus n is equal to a to the negative n. So note that any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So therefore, a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the positive n. So from here, we are going to deduce that any quantity with a negative power is equal to the reciprocal of that quantity with the corresponding positive exponent. So if we have the reciprocal, the other term for reciprocal is the multiplicative inverse. So if we have 3, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. And if we have 2 over 7, the reciprocal is 7 over 2. So in here, you just need to flip it. And if we have a, the reciprocal of a is 1 over a. And if we have negative 9 over 10, the reciprocal is negative 10 over 9. And if we are going to multiply the original number by its reciprocal, it is always equal to 1. Now, let us have some examples for the negative exponent. We are going to simplify the following expressions in positive indices. So, if we have 3 to the negative 1, we are going to have 1 over 3 to the positive 1 or simply 1 over 3 because 3 to the first is equal to 3. Now, if we have negative 5 to the negative 9, so in here we are going to get the reciprocal of negative 5 which is 1 over negative 5 raised to positive 9. So just get the reciprocal and make your exponent positive. Now let us have other examples. So if we have 3 over 4 raised to negative 2, so in here we are going to flip 3 over 4, so it will become 4 over 3, then raised to positive 2. So if we have negative 7 over 9 raised to negative 4, we are just going to get the reciprocal of negative 7 over 9, which is negative 9 over 7, then raised to positive 4. Let us have a short quiz. Multiply the following. 8 times 8 to the 4th is equal to what? In 5 seconds. Yay! That's right. The answer is 8 to the 5th. Let us have another one. Divide the following in 5 seconds. Yay! That's right. The answer is 17 squared. Let us have another one. Solve the following in 5 seconds. Yay! That's right. It is equal to 1. Let us have the last one. Simplify. 15 to the negative 51 in 5 seconds. Yay! That's right. The answer is 1 over 15 raised to 51.
Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching and please click the subscribe button. See you again next time. Bye!